What's up guys, Kane here with XBLA fans, and I'm just showing off a little bit of the customization with Super Mega Baseball. Now, I'm kind of an idiot, and I actually designed my logo before I realized I probably should have been recording to show that. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create Team Xbox. Now, Xbox is going to be the Scorpios. I've kind of already decided that. We got this cool little vibe going with a Scorpio and an X. I will admit I am grossly colorblind. So I am apologizing now for the fact that I am willing to bet money that those are not the correct brand colors. Sorry, whoever that is probably going to painfully offend. Again, I cannot see anything. <laughs> so I'm not taking the blame on that one. So one of the cool things you can do is you can kind of change that logo and then you can place it where you want on the different uniforms. So I'm going to put it on the hat and I'm going to add Scorpios across the chest. Um, I figured if I was going to make an Xbox team, why not take the Aquatics, which seems to have kind of an Athletics kind of vibe, since obviously I'm going to stick Charla on there at some point. So now that our design on our team is more or less situated, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff you can do to your team uniforms. So there's a lot of details that you can get into with this. You can change your color scheme, you know, you can change where the numbers are placed on the uniforms. You can change the text color. There's a lot of just kind of crazy stuff and they've added a ton of optimization focusing largely on creating your own team. Now, I'm going to actually complain a little bit when we do get to creating characters because I think the faces are still a little too goofy in the sense of I think I end up using probably the same four faces on every single person. So we're going to start to actually make our people. Uh, I ended up just hitting random a ton until I just kind of got a template to start from. And then, I mean, honestly, at that point, I realized that this was not the best way to go. And I just started randomly, you know, kind of doing them myself. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the people I made, and then we'll show you the final thing. So for those of you guys who can't tell what I'm doing here, uh, we've got AG himself, Big VIP. And, you know, we had to add him to the roster. We'll go through a bunch of random Team Xbox people. I apologize in advance because none of you actually look like this, but... Again, like I said, I'm pretty limited on what my options are here as far as, you know, what I can actually customize. There's a ton of stuff I can do with the uniforms, with your stances, with what your walk-up music is. But as far as the actual faces, and again, I am super colorblind, so I'm going to wager that not a single person has the correct color hair or eye color. That's just how it is. It's a little unfortunate for someone like me who's trying to completely guess when I can't see what that actually is. Because in particular, I was struggling hard when it came to hair colors in this game. I think half the time I kept giving people really goofy yellow looks. So like I said, you can change the heads, the hair, the facial color. There's a couple different eyebrows you can choose from. You can, you know, have male players. You can have female players. You can change a bunch of other random different variables it's kind of neat how they've added all this stuff in so i'm going pretty in depth with this one and i'm gonna kind of breeze through uh, a little bit later just because i'm just kind of like eh, let's figure out what works so again uh there's a lot of stuff you can do here but at the end of the day i would say most of the heads look incredibly goofy which makes it really really rare that you're going to use them. <laughs> There's a few heads that I don't think I would ever want to use on a custom created character for anyone that I know in real life because I would probably get beat up for it. They look that weird. You know, it's like one of those things. So we're going to skip ahead a little bit and I'm going to show you guys some other people. And of course we had to add Phil, so... At least for Phil, there was some decent hair options, unlike a lot of people who ended up with the exact same haircuts. Like I said, uh, the customization in this game is actually super cool. To me, it's one of the things that keeps the game fresh. Because of the fact that I cannot have the MLB license, I need to find teams that actually have people that make me care about them. So one way I do this is I add a bunch of random kind of celebrity type stuff. You know, like, this will be Team Xbox. The next team I make will probably be the cast of The Office again. 
you know so i've got my xbla fans team that i've already made that will probably be the first team that pits off against team xbox and we'll try to take them down in fact, honestly, my first stream on launch night for Super Mega Baseball 2 will probably be the XBLA fans team versus the Xbox team. So if you'd like to kind of see that and you want to see us probably get our butts kicked, you should definitely show up for that. It should be a pretty good time. I say that because I'll probably let you guys pick the ego we play at and knowing the way our chat tends to be, they're not going to give me something easy to play on. But we'll be playing this at 9 p.m. EST, EDT, whatever it is anymore. I hate daylight savings time sometimes. Uh, and we'll be playing that on twitch.tv slash XBLA fan. Hopefully you guys are able to stop by and check it out. Now, um, I wanted to show off just some of the other features that you could do in this. And you're able to kind of, you know, change everything, including even just the way the gloves look. And some of the cool things are just the batting routines, the batting stances, and the walk-up music. I thought that was pretty clutch, because again, when you're getting to this point where you're having a hard time differentiating some characters, there's some cool things you can do here. And I mean, I was trying to figure out what would Phil's walk-up music be, and then, like, suddenly we hit one called Gamer, and I'm just like, let's just leave it there. Now, the next character I made on this is going to be Charla, and that had to happen the moment I realized we probably stole the Athletics team. You know, at least the look-alike. You know, the Aquatics, same color scheme and look. It just felt like that was kind of destiny there. So, let's skip ahead a little bit on the creation of this one. But like I said, uh, it's one of those things where eventually you start to realize that, like, you're a little limited on heads and faces because only some of them don't look ridiculous. Now, big apologies to every single person that ended up in this video. Uh, I know these look nothing like you. My controls on what I can actually make are definitely pretty much on the limited side of the spectrum. So, this is what we ended up with. Um, at least the 8-bit warrior is realistic. But again, like, most of these look nothing like you guys, but here's my Team Xbox. Uh, apologies to everyone in here, including Cecil from Discord, who I've actually never met, so I have no idea what you even look like. So that one could be completely out there. I just hit random six times and went with what it gave me. Uh, but thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you like this type of content, please do let us know. And please do like and share. It helps us out a ton. Later.